When Chinese medicinal herbs take root in a new industrial park, they blend centuries-old traditions with modern technology. Vincent Lam came to Zhuhai three years ago, heading one of nearly 6,000 Macau companies in the Hengqing Guangdong Macau in-depth cooperation zone. He's invested 10 million yuan here and plans to stay for the long term. One side is it circles to Macau. It's easy to get the uh, One Belt, One Wall and the Portuguese cities. The, the cost is lower, the intangible assets for us is more. Because here it's a very, very big market, I can do the uh, online selling, it's, it's much, much easier, so more huge potentials for us to uh, promote. Hunting Island began what are known as closed-loop customs operations in March, offering tax exemptions for certain goods. It's a milestone reform under the One Country, Two Systems principle, set to generate opportunities for Macau's economic diversification. It's also helped create many cross-border families. Vincent has since married his girlfriend from Zhuhai and started a new life in Hengqing. I'll share my personal story. I have um, two kids in two years. I can't wait to enjoy it, to see uh, how they're growing up. They are winning the new generation, born from Hengqing and, and grew in Hengqing. Okay, welcome. So this is our new home. Uh, I think it's priority to um, uh, the people from Macau first. And this one here is like uh, 30,000. So it's cheaper, yeah, m more valuable. After a decade of planning, the Macau New Neighborhood will finally welcome its first residents in July. More than 20,000 people from Macau now live in Hengqing, up more than 20% from last year. And this property adds to its appeal with thousands of new apartments just like this and Macau's education, healthcare, and social services on the doorstep. This is a prime example of integration, where two cities live as one. In October 2018, during a visit to Guangdong, President Xi Jinping urged officials to seize the Greater Bay Area as a key opportunity and major task in reform and opening up. The goal is to build a competitive world-class city cluster by 2035. The national strategy has led to sweeping measures aimed at boosting the flow of people, capital and technology across 11 cities. Thanks to the northbound travel scheme, Hong Kong and Macau residents are driving into the mainland in record numbers, boosting the retail economy. And it's especially meaningful on this extended public holiday weekend as Hong Kong celebrates the 27th anniversary since its return to the motherland. Hong Kong has been back for many years now, and we are a family after all. The one-hour living circle has been discussed for years. It's finally become a reality. I think it's a breakthrough for domestic circulation. We booked a villa for the whole group of friends. We are excited to spend the night here and shop. We have felt more connected to the mainland in recent years, with new opportunities emerging. I hope for more cultural exchanges and other collaborations so we can grow stronger together. Deepening reforms have elevated the region to international heights. The Greater Bay Area attracts 60% of overseas direct investment in China. Last year, the Shenzhen Hong Kong Guangzhou City Cluster ranked second in the Global Innovation Index. The world's longest sea bridge, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, alone facilitates billions in trade annually. More importantly, it links the region's 86 million population into what's known as a one hour living circle. Beyond the holiday crowds and ever-expanding infrastructure, the Greater Bay Area showcases an evolving China. More than a decade of rigorous policy reforms has propelled this region to economic prominence. And the momentum continues. One country, two systems, three currencies, and endless possibilities.